everybody! Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. My name is Sho and I have, big surprise, yet another unboxing for everybody. I'm super duper excited about this one. It's been a while since I've last filmed, uh, but this one I think is going to be a really cool one. If you've been following my channel at all, you know I'm a massive, massive fan of the Portland Leather Goods Company. Uh, I just think they do such a phenomenal, phenomenal job with product. Um, I have two of their uh, classic totes, one with one large with zipper and then one just regular large. Um, the one with the zipper I've had for a couple of years now, and it is as good as when I first picked it up. I mean, it really is a phenomenal bag. And the second one is wearing in really, really nicely. And of course, because I'm so happy with those, I just felt like I needed another bag because who doesn't? Uh, but this one is not from their classic tote line. This one is a little bit different. So very, very excited about that. Plus I got a bonus item just because I am actually in need of, uh, of this other item. Uh, and I didn't even realize that Portland leather made these. So we shall see how that turns out, okay? So without any further ado, I'm gonna really just dive into the unboxing. Before I go any further, this is the first almost perfect purchase I'm making from Portland Leather. Um, the other two bags I've gotten were their premium line, but I've heard such good things about the almost perfect line. Plus, I'm one of those people who really enjoys sort of the imperfections that come with full grain leather. So I'm thinking that this should be totally up my alley. Plus, it's so much cheaper. Uh, that I, I would think that this would be like the perfect kind of item for me. We shall see, but I, I, I have very high hopes. Okay. So as usual, you get the little postcard or rack card, I should say, uh, that just tells you, thank you for supporting our team of artisans. Leave us a review, yada, yada, leather care. It explains, you know, um, what you should probably do, the fact that it's already, it already comes to conditioned, so on and so forth. Um, just because it's slightly less of a big thing, I'm going to open my little item first. And that little item is... A new belt. So... I actually just purchased a really cute pair of jeans for the summer, uh, but I wanted kind of like a, a brown reddish belt to go with it. And I only have like nude tone belts, like very camely colored belt light. It's just, it's very blatantly, obviously not the color that I was going for. Uh, so I saw that Portland leather makes an actual burgundy leather belt. And I was like, this is absolutely perfect. Um, so you can see, and I got it with the brass buckle. I don't know if it's going to come out perfectly well. I apologize about the lighting. I'm really losing light from outside and, um, I've just got my, um, daylight light thingamajiggy on. So it's sort of mm, hazy as far as the quality goes. So apologize, apologies for that. But um, the buckle seems really like sturdy. Uh, the leather, as always, is full grain, which you just really honestly can't do better than that. And it's a really beautiful shade of burgundy. Like it's that perfect sort of reddish brown that is exactly what I was hoping for. Um, so I am very, very happy. Um, I'd recently tried to purchase a belt from H&M, but just couldn't manage to find the right size. I don't actually have an H&M anywhere near me. 
Um, so I have to order everything online. I perfectly followed their instructions for sizing and it's every single time I did it, the belt was too big and it didn't seem to matter if I was going for premium line or the regular line. And even if I sized down, then the belt was still too big. It, it, it's just very strange. Um, I've never had that kind of issue with them before. So it's just weird. And I just was like, I'm just getting something that I know comes from people who know how to size items. So yes, this is, um, the Portland leather, Portland leather belt in burgundy. It's beautiful. And I think it will definitely fit just fine. Yeah. It's actually going to fit. So that's a bonus. <laughs> And now for the main event. And again, this comes from the almost perfect line. Okay. See this? So, like I mentioned, I already have two classic totes, but I really wanted a crossbody from them. And I think I've mentioned this before. I never use the zipper. I'm not in an area that's like super insecure or full of like crime or anything. So like the zipper element of things is negligible. And I love the sort of floppy quality that the bags from Portland have when they don't have the zipper attachment. And this is absolutely perfect. I can already feel it being like it's floppy self. And I wanted something in gray. One, because gray is like the color of the season or the color of the year, I guess would be better. Um, and this just seemed really perfect. Okay, so things that I'm observing. One, Oddly enough, smell is not as strong as with the classic totes. Like usually when you open the box, you're hit with like this immediate, oh my God, leather smell. And I did not get hit with that, but that's not really, I mean, that's not an issue at all. It's just oddly interesting. It does make me wonder if like these bags sort of sit in the studio for a little bit longer and that's potentially why that's the difference. But regardless, um... I mean, I guess I can see why they would consider this almost perfect as opposed to premium. There are, you know, some very, very faint scuffs, which I'm going to go ahead and guess if I rub my hand oils against, they're just going to disappear, which is exactly what happened. Already gone. Um, the rivets the st are, are exactly where they're supposed to be. The stitches are totally where they're supposed to be. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess, like I said, there were like a couple of really faint scuffs. And I guess there's a little bit of, it's not quite as perfectly even as my other bags as far as like the dye job. But I actually really like that. Like here, um, I don't know if that's picking up or not. It's like on a really good pair of jeans when you don't get like the 100% even blue tone, but you get sort of like the wrinkle coat colors, you get a little tiny bit of that here, but that's, that's really it. I mean, the stitching is perfect. That had been my one concern, I think, whether or not the stitching would be as solid because it does say um, in the almost perfect information that you know, maybe there's like a crooked stitch or something like that. Like just not a perfect looking stitch, but I, if any of the stitching on this is less than perfect, I would be shocked. Um, same thing goes with on the strap. So like I said, I picked up the crossbody and it does have like a very, very generous strap drop. And it's just, it's really beautiful. So the leather type on this, this is the gray, like I was mentioning, is exactly the same style of leather that you would find on, say, like the green or the deep blue or deep ocean or say the Merlot. It's that sort of soft, almost suede-y, nubuck-y feeling um, leather, not nubuck or suede. It just happens to be like the dye process 
that it goes through that makes it sort of this really almost fuzzy feeling leather, which is my favorite. I absolutely love, love, love that leather. Um, and you can tell the difference, say, say like with the burgundy, like the burgundy is really more of your traditional smooth, perfect leather. And I think maybe if you got almost perfect bags in that kind of leather, that sort of glove tan style, like glossy, shiny bit, maybe imperfections would be more of an issue. But when you've got this really soft, fuzzy feeling, malleable leather, like that's on this gray, I think you really don't have to worry. I mean, like I said, all of the scratches are going to happen anyway, because again, that's just the nature of this kind of leather. But also most of the time your hands are just going to rub, rub it right out. And I don't know. I think this is perfect. I am, I am incredibly happy. Um, let me show you the inside as soon as I get this giant thing out of the way. Ta -da. Okay. So now that I've babbled on for ages, this is the crossbody in gray. It is, I would say a darker shade than what shows up on the computer. Uh, I mean that there can obviously be variations, maybe some gray crossbodies look much closer to that, but the gray on the computer is definitely a more blue toned. Whereas this has more of a beigey warm undertone, which is perfectly fine for me. Again, neutral girl. I wear a ton of more beigey cream, neutral, warm toned shades anyway. So this is totally fine. Uh, but just that's something to definitely be aware of. I've heard other people also mention that it's a, definitely more of a warm gray rather than a cool gray, which is somewhat different from what you'll see when you're just on the website again. Um, but this is really, really nice. It's, it's, it's a, a bit darker, almost a little bit mossy. And let me just show you in comparison. So this is the green leather like this deep sort of huntery shade and here's the gray so you can see that while the gray is like a lighter shade it's not that much lighter and you can definitely see the sort of the the similarities within the warmth of the tone so there is that now with the crossbody and I will, as always, put the dimensions across the bottom of the screen, like I always do. Um, you've got your shoulder strap drop, which fits very comfortably along the side. You've got your crossbody strap. And the strap is adjustable. It's got like the little, um, I never know what these are called. The little tabs, essentially, the little brass tabs that you just um, punch holes, similar to, say, uh, Monster Gabrielle bucket bags, that kind of, that kind of adjustment. Um, it does not have, it has two of the loops, but the secondary loop doesn't slide. So um, you do have a little bit of flap going on, which is not my favorite thing, but not a deal breaker at all. Um, for me, probably I'll make the strap just a little bit looser just in order to do away with that. Um, or not, because this is pretty much the perfect length. I feel like if I make it much longer, my short frame is just going to be dragging this bag on the ground. Um, I will, I will also say that um, there are enough holes that this should work really, really well, whether or not you are, um, shorter like I am, I'm about five foot three, uh, or taller, you still have lots of leeway to adjust the strap. So no worries on that front either. Now, as far as the body of the bag, you've got a front pocket, which is pretty deep. It's really pretty much... It's very close to the same size as the front pocket on my classic totes, maybe a little bit narrower, but that's just, again, the nature of this, this particular bag. Um, and then inside it's just open for the most part. Let me 
see a black hole. Yep. Um, it has the connections on the side that hold the removable crossbody. So if you don't want to have the crossbody at all, you can absolutely remove it. And then you have the one little detachable pocket. And of course, it also comes with the Portland Leather Goods card. But there's the pocket that's attached to the back of the bag. Um, it's a good size. I would say it would be perfect for, say, like if you wanted to slide, I guess if you wanted to slide your phone in there, you 100% could or any other little um, doodads. I'll probably put like my work lanyard and stuff like that. And then you just have like a really good, basic, large cavern in there. Um, one of the main things that I always look for in work bags, and that's exactly what this is going to be, another work bag because you need another one, um, is that they're large enough for either um, um, a MacBook or my iPad Pro. And this one is the perfect size for that. If you'll hold on just one second, I'm going to go grab my iPad and I will be able to show you. So like I was mentioning, um, with these bags, the main thing is that I want to be able to fit everything I absolutely have to have for work comfortably. Um, that means either a MacBook or my iPad Pro. And this is one, uh, I think this is the second generation, so it's still pretty big. Um, one of the 12 something inch screens and you can see it fits in there perfectly. Now, I don't know that my organizer will fit. Let's just take a quick look and see just because I'm very curious. Yeah, that's definitely not going to fit. <laughs> But let's just give it a try. My spatial recognition is pretty poor. Yep. But it wasn't so poor that I couldn't tell that this is definitely too large for this bag. Um, I was not expecting it to fit, so I'm not particularly crushed. Um, but uh, that would have been a lovely little convenience factor if it had. Um, What is nice is because this is a slightly smaller bag than the two work totes as far as depth and width go, uh, I won't fit as much extra junk that I really don't need into it. So I don't really think that I'll actually need an organizer um, because I definitely don't have to have one for my work tote, my other work totes. I just, I just do because that way I can stuff like all my extra like goodies, like my extra pens that I never use or my inevitable like six power bars that again I never eat or whatever miscellaneous goodies I have that I think I would like to have with me but it just ends up making everything heavier anyway I digress this is actually perfectly perfectly sized for me I'm very very excited about that um and beyond that, I just, like I said, I'm really, really happy with this. Um, I didn't know what to think with the almost perfect items. And this is just, this is just lovely. I mean, really, really, truly, it's a lovely, lovely bag. So um, if you happen to have any questions whatsoever about um, either the almost perfect purchase that I just made or about the Portland Leather Goods crossbody in general, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm really excited to start using this just because one, it's just gorgeous, but two, it'll be, it'll definitely be a little bit of an adjustment um, from what I'm used to just because it is a different size, different carry style, everything like that. Um, if you are curious about the belt, let me know about that too. I hadn't seen any reviews whatsoever about Portland Leather Goods belts, but it seems really, really nice. I mean, that the full green leather is so luxe and thick and it just seems so sturdy. Very, very excited about this. Um, and it is a beautiful shade. It's, it's like very true burgundy. 
Um, so if you have any questions about that as well, let me know. It is unisex. So if you're looking for something like super femme, this probably isn't for you, but I personally just like something really utilitarian anyway, when it, the primary goal for me is honestly to keep my pants up. Um, I'm not usually looking to add anything special to the look. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is really, really cool. So I'm very happy about that. Um, very happy about the crossbody and you know, with that, I think we're going to go ahead and call today a day. Thank you again so much as always for joining me on my channel. If you have found the information that I've put out there useful or entertaining in any way, please do consider liking and subscribing. Um, also make sure if you have any thoughts or comments, please, you know, write them below. I love interacting with fellow bag fans. Uh, oh, I did have a question. So I have some other packages of leather goods that just came in. Uh, and I have a couple more that are on their way. Are you guys interested in things like that are just leather goods, say like the Portland leather belt or things like Everlane shoes? I've only just really started diving into their, um, shoes. I've been a long time fan of like their sweaters and everything like that, but I'd never, I never tried out any of their shoes. Well, I just, there was a huge sale on the, I think tapered day gloves and I fell in love with a nude pair that I purchased. So I just picked up a couple others, um, that were also still on sale in that style. And I'd be happy to share those if you're interested, but if you're primarily just here for bags, I, I completely understand that anyway. Thank you again so much for joining me and I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.